All righty, folks. Sorry once again about that. Looks like we had a hiccup on our internet line here. But we are back and ready to continue on with this match between Liz oh. Tyne and Abby Spot, Trisha Romero, and Chris Grimmel. All right, let's see where Liz goes with this. Here's Chris Grimmel. Yeah, we had a little internet issue there. Goes double bull. What is happening? Yeah, we do apologize for it. What? No, what was that from Chrissy? You see that? She went double bull on dart one, then tried to close the bulls, and then close the 18s anyway. And has been huh. that's as fired up as I maybe have ever seen her. A little bit weird. So we dropped out, came back onto the same Facebook feed. Did you see that? Uh, I thought we did. Is it gone again? No. Same same feed. Isn't that okay. Cra that's crazy, isn't it? It is. They wanted so. that comment to stay. <laughs> hey, I'm happy it stayed. Oh, that gosh. was great, Shane. Thank you. <laughs> Shane, I've never laughed harder. Damien says she did the same thing at TOC, and it worked out yeah. well for her. No, it's, I'm not knocking any part of this. I love it. It's a dangerous Chrissy Grimmel. Wow, what a last dart. can't believe she just pegged that. Looks like it's about to be one to one. Lost the YouTube stream is what Melinda said. We're hoping it's back now. Yeah, it's back up. We lost both actually. There we go. Chris Romero takes it out. That was leg number two. They're going to go ahead and diddle. Melinda, you can... For this last leg decider. Melinda, you can find the new YouTube feed up and running. But we'll get underway here. Chris to decompress. And here she comes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Just outside. I'm in. Take me in. Well. Oh, this, Two this guys was, in a closet turned into was. way too many people in the closet. Cause this was, uh, we had about this was a very professional stream until this moment. We apologize for whatever happens now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> you did a great job on that. Well, 148, 140 leaves eight. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh, my word. Here's Chrissy here, <laughs> looking for those 19s. Does go ahead and close them out up and to the 20s. And hits the 20s, big darts, and Trisha Romero in the background celebrates it. This is a dangerous duo, Chrissy and uh, Trisha. Wow, this is the four, all four Super Dart players. Yep. <laughs> nah, I'm good. We're fine. All right, here's Abby. Well, looking up now. 
Big dart from Abby Spot. She gave a look back. Did you see that? Focus. She gave a look back. Did you see that? She gave a look back. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> we went from two people to now 24 people in this closet. Tynan. See, she... It's it's Kasha. She's hot. It's like snag. I mean, like a couple of these eighteens are not. No, she's gonna. Uh oh. Oh, Ooh, hello. Someone did not like her camera. That was a big old kick. There's the point lead. Stays up there. Adds to it. They're throwing a 4.0. This is Last Leg Decider. Big trip 18 from Spot. She's looking up. Big darts there, and there's a... <laughs> Holy Oh my shit. goodness. This is getting... This is getting... Juicy. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that look back. I from... mean, that was about as blatant as it gets, huh? This is all in, it's, I mean, it's all in competition and fun. I think they're going to enjoy this afterwards. I don't think it's going to be a... Either that or I'm a testy be, situation. I'm gonna be taking money outside on the UFC match here in a moment. No, I I'm gonna guess this is they're both just giving it back to each other. Looking for big moments too. Remember I mentioned early on in like leg one how pumped up Chrissy was with a big dart that she shot. Yeah, and she really was, and she's she's been the one that's giving it a go. I think Abby's just answering the yeah. the favor here. Tim Way sent him 1,500 stars. Holy moly, Tim. Attaboy, Tim. Appreciate that, sir. Yeah, Abby Jeez. is not messing around. A good five mark. She didn't look all the way back that time. She's still, she's still looking that way, let's be honest. Maybe someone just calls her name every time. She throws that third dart. <laughs> One thing's for sure, if this is just a taste of what we're going to see tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, boy. I believe it's Olivia Terry taking on Chris Grimmel in round one. That is correct. And Kasha Prisbal taking on Liz Tynan in round one. Uh, if, you, if you want a scouting report, she's good. Jay Fouché saying, can we get a confirmation on Soldier and Baggish with back-to-back -back perfect cricket games? Uh, I that have is news to me. No idea. That is news to me. If they did, that is... That is a... Eye-opening uh, statement there. I'm just saying, I threw five darts in cricket last night. In one leg. Yeah, we threw an 11 darter, and I went second. I know. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I'm here for you. Well, I, I can see all that. Now. All right, here's Chrissy. All that Sean was saying there is that he let Seth do the bulk of the work. Of course he did. He was the He's supposed back. to. He's 20. You should have the back for that. <laughs> All right. That's an awful big bag. Okay, ladies, we're leaving now. See ya. We gotta go play Olivia. Have fun. That should be a great match. Good luck, ladies. It's gonna become so much colder in here no, in about okay. ten seconds. Are they growing on the other place? Are they gonna grow up as well? Um, I believe they are. Yes, they are. You can, you're stuck here. Now you can go. Run, go. Too late. Nope.
It was pretty much too late. Jeez Louise. Whew. I feel safe now. Big dart there. For Abby Spot. Up, oh, oh, there was a little There was an a, a attempt at a high five. Oh, so apparently it was Leonard Gates that posted that. Okay. On Facebook, so Hey, if they say so, we're gonna have to Confirm from their opponents, but what do you do if you come up against a couple perfect cricket games? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> no, no, nothing at all. Well, Chrissy messed up that round. An open round for her. And Liz, a chance to close the 15s. Now she's going to point first. Now go back down. Oh, still open. But Trisha's going to have to stay there the whole time. Only two. I say getting a little hiccup in the momentum here. Well, there goes the 15. And a double bowl there for Abby Spot. <laughs> See if Tiny can put this away here. Oh my goodness. Huh. It's not really a killer. No, it really isn't. But not ideal. If you'd like to put that away right then and there. Man, and a wire, wire. Wire. From Trisha Romero. That's tough. And this is for the match right here. Abby Spot. Big double bullseye to get it done. And that'll do it. And look at that. See? I told you. In Immediate the hug. In the end. I knew that it was all in fun. You know? It's just that competitive nature for both of those teams. As we'll get a little look there of all the hugs, all the camaraderie. Oh, yeah. We'll zoom in on Big Dog. Don't tell him that I did that. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's Big Dog and Olivia now. Oh, Olivia's my gosh. Taking that as a learning experience. Guys. It's Batman. It's oh my god. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> All righty folks, let's head on over to uh board number 2. We got another match underway here. Potentially I got to redo my internet source on here, I guess. So it is one on us. Let me go ahead and change things around. Kicks like my reference. Kicks is a fan now. <laughs> Ever since you called him Franny, <laughs> he's just all about you. Well, Josh saying Do Big Dog is just stopping in. He will be at the at the buzzers tonight for the L for our LOD. There you go. Yeah, love it. It's nice to see him here, honestly. Uh, some of those, I mean, you, you think about it, he's a Wisconsin legend, you know? Oh, yeah. Him, Scott Kirshner, you got Benny Dirsch, all those individuals oh, yeah. that have just been making this game 
their own for so long, you know, teaching all these youngsters. Um, I think they just called the board, or called the other streaming board, and it's a pretty good battle. I'm pretty positive they just said Rick Henzey and Tyler Henzey versus Leonard Gates and Danny Baggish. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, please. Thank you. Well, here is Mr. Eisner. needed. All right, here is Nate. Matt Hoyne asking, is Mike Maloney not playing today? I don't believe that he is. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I don't think so. I, he was at home earlier. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, he's only an hour away. I mean, he's in Chicago, so what, hour and a half? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I don't blame him for maybe not participating today. Spending some time with the kiddos, or just being a bum at home, whatever he's doing. Eric with great darts there. Uh, Brian Matthew asking you, did Gates and Danny win in doubles 0-1? They did not. They got double dipped. They got that old two scoops put on them by Elliot Milk. And Kevin Luke. Yep. Which, just for confirmation reasons, Elliot could not believe that Gates' staticness took that curtain with him. <laughs> yes. He thought we'd purposely open the door on him. Great darts there. Jennifer's saying too close to baby time for Maloney, maybe. That could be it. He's going to be playing tomorrow in the Booyah yep. Cup, so he'll be up here. But, yeah, maybe just wanted a day off in between. Maybe he's going to come fresh in tomorrow. That may be a, an advantage, honestly. Who knows? All right, here's Eric. There's the point lead. 17, 15 for the match. Got it done. That was great, by the way, sir. Leg number one over with as we go to leg number two. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> it's like he's been on stage. <laughs> You're welcome. That'll wow. Be a, that'll be a clip that we will definitely do later. Let's go ahead and get the timing on that one. 59 seconds on uh, the doubles cricket stream there, <laughs> David. <laughs> Little Gates dance reel. We'll make it into a GIF. That was Nate right there. Eric gets rid of the 20s and points the 19s. And here is Travis. And they are just a little bit off in this leg. They threw very well on the first leg, just just got beat at the end. And Tim Eisner is going to try and make him pay for it. There goes the eight, 18s, and there goes the 17s. They're throwing a thing yeah. Bob Zine and Tim they just have this connection they're they're a great duo yes they, they play are. well with each other and they they did it at Waymo too they did they, they really yep. took care of business 
Yeah, that song was actually made about them. Hey, they pointed. They're not skunked. Which is exactly what I'd be saying right now. But at least we got points. Just yeah, one, two, three. That's yeah. all he needs to do. Tim made that look way too easy. Like, <laughs> way too easy. He's got to make that look way more difficult. That was almost show off easy, you know? It was like, da 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 do 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 da do da da do da 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 Outside, ooh. He, he knew as soon as he released that second dart. He tried to save it. Did you see that? Mm hmm It's not over with yet, but it's getting close. Travis can uh, put a little bit of pressure on, though. Looks That's like a great start to it. Looks like they're just getting underway on that board number one. Oh, just outside. So Tim Eisner, one bullseye needed for the match. There it is. They win it. And look who it is. It's Danny Baggish. The gambler. And here is Dad. Rick Hinsey. Big Smooth. The old man. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, I mean, that's exactly what I'm going to tell him. He's said. definitely going to hurt me for that one. Here is Leonard Gates. <laughs> and here's Tyler Henze, 19 years old. He's going to be... A dominant force here. Yeah. He already is almost a dominant force. Yep. Had a run in the CSC this session, unfortunately. Two and out, but hey, you know what? Learning experience. Big darts from Baggish. But Hensley can go ahead and attack these 16s and 15s if he wants. So what he's going to try to do... Eee, that is not ideal there. Back up for points. Yep, and that's that's a little bit of a slip. Yeah, it could not, be a slip that hurts. And yeah, not something you really want to do against Leonard Gates and Danny Baggish. They are sharks that smell blood in the water. But not the damage he needed to do. Tyler's going to step up here. He looked to the close. There goes the 16s. The smart dart here is to point. And he does that. Look at Gates all the way on the other side. Yep. Just chilling with his earbuds in. Danny doing the same. No real reason to communicate. They already know what each other wants to do. So here's see if, Rick Hensey. Let's we'll see if these Hensies can win this leg. Looking up. That'll work. I think that's a smart last dart there. Absolutely. Had some more points. Wow. Oh, trip 18. Oh, that would have been pressure for Hensey. Now, if you're Tyler, what do you do here? I think you go right at it. Go go at the bulls with the first dart. Yep. Continue on. Go ahead and win it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He makes sure he goes. Yep. Yep. If I was Danny, <laughs> I'd have been like, no, 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 just to mess with him, <laughs> just to mess with the kid. Hey, you know what? No, they're a little bit focused. I think right now. 
kudos to Tyler on yep. that one because that takes some guts. 19 years young, you're looking behind you, you got Gates, yep. you got Baggish, and uh. <laughs> That's great. Oh boy. Well, what do you think he's uh, listening to? Let us know in oh, the it's, chat. It's definitely his walk on song. Just got it on repeat. I'm going to go good vibrations <laughs> by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Big smooth, making that look easy. I love how you're just keep on jabbing he's, he's, that in. He's uh, he's dan, just he's just dancing, just dancing back there. <laughs> A showman. Uh oh. Ooh. What? I thought we were going to have a whole dance session break out there for a second. With multiple people. Big seven mark there from Leonard. <laughs> Blaine says, let it snow from the movie Frozen. <laughs> I love that. I believe it's let it go, though. Taking just a second before he goes about his business. I was thinking he may take the early look at the 19s there, but points first, and then just going to go ahead and close it out. Yep. Smart darts. Tyler gets himself a four mark. Here is Mr. Gates. Looking down at the 17s. There they go. 16s or 15s. He looked at him. <laughs> See what Rick can do. Gets five of them. Fifteens. Another one does bite the dust. How about an eight mark there for Danny Baggish? Good darts for Baggish. We're just throwing a six three three and a six six seven. No, no biggie. Boring leg of darts. Yeah, no big deal. That second dart is in the bowl. Yeah, another misread. All of them one are. Too. Gonna have to recount a couple of them. Let's get somebody over here to take a look, ski. Boop. boop. Yep. Huh. Pretty sure they just called him a cheater. <laughs> say, Which of course you cheater. should. Yeah. Big first start there from Leonard. Oh, that'll do it. Well, let's go to the last leg of cider here. See the people back there watching. Yeah, I'm, the room's I'm pretty like, full back there. I'm in the liking back the, corner. the addition of the seating here for uh, this year's events. We may need to add some more seating for tomorrow. Yeah. That's a little bit of a blocker there. Never mind. Yeah. Gates just nonchalantly throws it in there. What's a blocker? He does not know. Obviously. All right. Here we go. Last leg decider. The Hensies versus Leonard and Danny. Oh, boy. Holy moly. 
That was awful. And Leonard kind of gave a little reaction to it, I think. As he should. You gotta fix that mic a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> what hump? Yeah, big triple opener. It's down to the 19s. 18s or 20s. It's more points on the 20s for Bag if she says, Listen here, kid. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> That's what he said to the kid. That's probably what he did say. Hensy gotta find it here. Not able to do so. Just three fats, so Gates gonna be all over this. Journey's on in the background, guys, so this is about to get crazy. Yeah, I think we're going to see multiple people singing in the background. Probably most. Tyler Hensey about to bust out his best moves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. Let's be honest. <laughs> Will, this is not the final. I'm guessing this is... Ooh, good question. We need to take a look at that old computer and see. I'll take a look at the brackets after this, but... And he just hit a big 18 that was closed. Okay, so this is to see who will fight for the king's seat. So okay. that's uh, where this is at. Larry Butler Sestefano is awaiting the winner of this one. So Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Wow. Double bull. There it is. A 7.0 and a 5.67. That'll do it. Decent. Decent indeed. Great stuff from Leonard Gates. He's able to pop the double bull there. It's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's see if he gives this one. <laughs> nope. 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 Because why would he dance? But he's about to. Look at him. See, I told you he was going to. It's just a matter of time. Anyway, we'll be right back, folks, with more action as we continue on with our coverage of doubles cricket here at the Dark Horse Classic and Booyah Cup. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back as check out that deliciousness. What are you looking at, buddy? There you go. Estefano. Yeah, he's just getting ready to play in the final. Well, the King's Seat match. No big deal at all. All right, guys. I was looking at that jersey. Yeah. That Elmo jersey we had there. That That's pretty fantastic. Sweet, all righty, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more action here next on USA Darts coverage. The Dark Horse Classic and Abu Ya Cup.
been in some form. He just wouldn't be shocked to see this go again. Donald Trump for a second nine darter on the line.
All right, here we go. The queen seat match for the ladies doubles cricket. Yeah, Kat yeah. Catherine Middleton and Kasha Prisbel taking on Abby Spot and Liz Tynan. And Liz Tynan. Great matchup here. I Here's will Abby. I will say I call Miss Prisbel Prisbel A, so if you want to jump on the bandwagon, go ahead. Okay. Nope. Both quality shots <laughs> out of Michigan. Catherine and Kasha. Here is Kasha. We did see a glimpse of Kasha and uh, Catherine at the beginning of the stream here for doubles cricket. Hit that like button. Hit that share button, everybody. We are live. The Dark Horse Classic Booyah Cup finale. Women's doubles queen seat. Sean Green, Will Stewart. USA Darts Production. Choices. Abby was thrown with some aggression. <laughs> Come on, Sean. <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that, buddy? Oh man. No, it's quite alright. It's quite alright. Yeah. Abby was was really playing with aggression last time. Just turned around, giving it back to Chrissy yeah. Grimmel, who was giving it to her. Uh, the whole time, and finally she just started collecting exactly what she needed to, and man, she was giving some look back, some fierce, intense darts is what it was. She's got to get back into that. And then a great big hug afterwards. Big darts oh. there from Kasha. She was trying to get her boom goes the dynamite, <laughs> called her way. Here's Liz Tynan. Looks like the king seat match for the pro doubles is going to go on on stage left over on the other board. I guess that'd be stage right. Board, just we'll make it easy. Board two. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Here is Abby Spot. Gonna have to look down at the 17s. They are far behind in this leg early on. Only two of them. Oh, only two of them there for Kosh. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to shorten it, and then I realized that was stupid, and then I tried to save it, and it was bad all around. All right, here's Catherine. Cat Middleton. There we go, the 17s. Going to look over the 16. Start for the 15s. That's fine, too. Ooh. That's right, she did the bare minimum there. Steve, we will go over there after this one. Well, yeah, it hasn't started yet, so we're keeping an eye on it. We'll kind of flip-flop it for those big match darts. Good darts there from Abby Spot. Reaching a little bit there is yeah. Kasha, I think. She threw really well early on in the leg. Wayne Charlie is saying it was his first year here, and it was a blast. I've enjoyed it, my first year here. It's been it's been a good one. Last year was fun. This year's entertaining. I mean, we've got a lot more people in the room. 
I'm looking forward to seeing who we get in the room tomorrow as far as viewership. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's a big seven mark there from Cat. All Abby can do is hit a lot of 16s. Well, Jacob, we appreciate that. All your support since the very get-go has been uh, amazing. Indeed. Gosh, it just needs one more. Gets one more. Wires them. But they'll do. Well, it's only a two mark. And Catherine can finish this here. At least put it out of reach. She's going to put it out of reach. Big darts there. Huge round at the board for Cat Middleton. Would you call this a, a slight upset? Um, if, if Kasha and Cat win this? I don't know if I would consider it an upset. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean... Kasha, I haven't seen her on a lot, so I mean, when she's on, she's she's a great player. Starting to starting to develop here. Catherine, I know she's she. Oh, you yeah. can she's, put her up class. There. You can put Catherine up there with Abby and Liz, no doubt. Yep. Um, let's be honest. Kasha's the one that can be the factor here, but she's she's doing her, she's doing her own. She's she played she played well in that last leg. She had a massive what was it seven mark? Yeah. Well, yeah I mean, seven threw, mark. I mean, she threw well throughout the entire leg. They just gotta keep their head. I think that. Oh, look at that! As long as they. Abby's turning on the 19s and goes. Trip seven, trip seven. Okay. And Cat's uh, gonna go first. That is surprising. So now you just gotta take a deep breath and roll with it if you're Catherine and uh, Kasha. Oh, you're gonna miss, miss by two, and then go right. Oh my goodness! Or do that. I mean, make it look like a white horse attempt is a beautiful way to cover that up. She goes, eh? She walked back. She raised her hands up. Like, I don't know. The Pro King seat is just getting underneath, uh, underway. And underneath. <laughs> All right, here's Kasha. Called her the X Factor. Oh, got the got it to register as a twenty. Abby spot. Yeah. Yeah, you almost expected her to come out and at least at least four market with yeah with that their last first round. round. Yeah, she was itching to get back up there and prove that was a fluke. Cat's been on fire and great darts there to get the point lead back. Jacob Worthley asking who gets the stream on Monday for the CSC Chandra series. I believe it is Ram, Rivera, and uh, Sugar Shane Johnson, correct? I believe so. Taking a quick glimpse here. Big darts there from Larry Butler. This is the king seat match on the pro side. Leg number one. Look at those averages. My oh my. Keep my eyes on that women's match and splash back in with Kasha and Catherine up one nil. Looking over the 15. Boom goes the dynamite there for Danny Baggish. And all Seth Stefano can do is hit a lot of bulls. 
And he does just that. Five marks it. Leonard needs one more. Gets two more. And that's leg number one. So we head on back to the ladies' queen seat match. Kasha and Kat up one nothing. Yeah, just three singles there for Prisbull. Here is Abby Spot. Playing a little chess here with the 1917s open, 18s and 20s open for Middleton and Prisbull. Abby's looking up now. Oh. Goes back to the points on the 17s. That's obviously the number she feels most comfortable with right now. See where Cat looks. Oh. Only one marks. So Liz has a bit of an opportunity here. Possibly go 20s to start off with. Yeah, I want to go ahead and take a shot at least one of these numbers or both of them. She'll go right back down for points. Smart. Yeah, not a bad option whatsoever. Okay, well. The 18's here for Kasha. Only gets a two mark. Not enough right now. As we head back over to the pro doubles cricket. Started off with a seven mark was Leonard Gates, and man, she's been off to the races since. As Gates and Baggish look to win the king seat spot. Staying there for all three, and only gets four of them, and just enough off in this leg. With how just I mean close the seventeens on to the fifteens. Big darts there from Danny. They're just so consistently high in their averages, man. You look at Seth's face there, it just told like, alright, well, what can I do? Bulls it is. Yep, and that's most likely gonna do it. Gates, three bowls. Gets it done. There it is. King seat goes to Danny and Leonard. Head back over to the ladies. Queen seat. See Abby spot. Tried to take out the 18s. You see a little look to the side there from Abby that time? Yeah. Reminded Maybe this she's is... starting to feel that a little bit. Yeah, but reminded this is leg number two. Oh, it's a big first start. Huge. Oh. Uh, she released it just a hair off, and she felt it right from the get-go. Absolutely great darts. Yes, Jacob, the brackets are available on Combi Sport. Just look up Booyah Cup or Dark Horse Classic. Should be able to find it, including tomorrow's Booyah Cup bracket. There's the point lead from Liz Tynan. Kasha's going to go 18s. Big first start. There goes the 19s. 17s. There they go! Oh, Big man. Big darts from Kasha. Big roar, and look at Paula Murphy clapping her hands, yep. giving a little approval to the ladies. You bet you, you bet that fired up Abby right Oh, I, I guarantee you. She's going to give it right back if she if she hits a big number here. She's thinking about how she wants to attack this. 16s or 15s? Need a lot. Oh. That is difficult. Wow. 
That is so difficult. All right there. Two, one hole outside into the trip eight. Unfortunate Darish for Abby, but Middleton to take advantage. Right back up for points. Ooh. It's only one though. Oh, this that could is, hurt. Uh, this is becoming a little bit of a, a little bit of a game. Very much so. Only two of them, though, from Liz. Let's see what Kasha does. She has options here. Do you go straight at it or do you uh, point first? I think you go right at it. She did. Big darts. Big darts. Kasha Prisbol. I'm telling you, she's in that right My rhythm My goodness. Right now. She is in the right rhythm to just take advantage and roll, man. And that might do it. Well, I can promise you. Cat Middleton for the queen seat. At the beginning of this, at the beginning of this doubles cricket bracket, I guarantee you, you wouldn't. There have, it is. You wouldn't have chose these two to be your queen seat holders. That's what I said earlier, man. You didn't agree with. Me. I was, I was thinking, you what know. What the heck, man? I said, do you think that that's a bit of an upset? And you said, no, man. I think that they've been this and this, <laughs> and now all of a sudden it's an upset. <laughs> well, I think at the very beginning, when you look at Chris Grimley, you look at Trish Romero, you oh, look at sure. Liz Tide, and you look at Ashley Spot. Those are definitely the two teams you pick. Yep. Abby and Cat, or, or not Abby. Cat and Kasha aren't far off. Yeah. Um, it's just one, if, if one's hitting and one's not. But hey, they were both really hitting well there. And look at the uh, outcome of 4.02 yeah. for the ladies as they will be our queen seat holders. All right. Looks like Mustache is getting ready to play on stream. Oh, jeez. So we're going to take a short break. <laughs> look at that ugly, ugly stash there. Oh, you stop it. I love Jeremy. Oh, man. Why you got to do that, Jeremy? Why you got to move? I gotta move. There he comes up. He's gonna yell at you right now. That's the wrong, wrong curtain. It's unlocked. You ready for this one? No. What? Who, who is it? It's not you, is it? Me versus Ernie. You versus Ernie. <laughs> who wants to watch you and Ernie? <laughs> Nobody wants to watch you and Ernie, bud. I can hear your mustache hairs from here, Jeremy. Oh dear lord. Gosh, that's one ugly stash. Somebody get this guy a comb. <laughs> oh, my word. Here we go. Here we go, folks. No regrets. <laughs> no, no regrets. <laughs> we'll be right back with more action here on USA Darts coverage of the Booyah Cup and Dark Horse Classic. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back as his wife is tuning in, too. That, love that. Love yep. it.
All right, it helps to have your mic on, I guess. There we go. Here we go, Ernie Petrolski. And Mr. William Balmer taking on Brandon Rydell and... Uh, Jeremy Byrne in this doubles cricket match. I don't think me and Sean knew that Vollmer was such a good shot, but he's quality. He's definitely quality. And then there's this ugly feller. Nah, I'm kidding. I can't help but pick on Jeremy as he's always pulls us out here for events. We want to thank him for doing that. Great work with the Booyah Darts Company. They will win that leg. I actually want to see where we're at in the bracket. Let me go ahead and pull that up. This is our non-pro bracket here. Okay, yep, this is the loser side, 9 through 12. So Jeremy Byrne, Brandon Rydell, Petrovsky Vollmer. Winner will take on the winner of Del, uh, Del, Del Paz Water, and Rob Waterfield, uh, Jason Price, and Dan Arrowwood. Uh, for the king seed, it's going to be Tim Eisner and Eric Bob Zine taking on... Uh, TBG and Colt Virtue, so a father son duo there.
an intense look of Bill Vollmer. Yeah, right back up to the 20s. Takes the smart dart decision. So blown away by that round out limit of 35. It's just insanity to see that. <laughs> Feel unfortunate there. I didn't to convert. This is somewhat of an opener if we can convert on two triples yeah not gonna be not even gonna find a triple just two single marks there for Brandon I wonder if Ernie tries to quickly close these 18s that's exactly what he does over the 20s for more points Goes down to the 17s unlucky there This is a loser side match, so the loser will be out. Taking ninth through twelfth, winner will advance to the top eight. going to work now huge round from bill bomber i'll give you one buddy boom goes the dynamite you're welcome sean you're welcome as he gives it in the background boom goes to wisconsin i know he's upset because he wasn't here to give it for bill but i'll give it for you my man there you go i know you've been waiting And closer to a leg win here is Bill and Ernie. Trying to make this 1-1 one, one here. And of course the last leg decider, and that's exactly what they're going to do. As Mr. Sean Green returns to join me once again. Take a closer look at that bull. Looks like one hole outside there for Burn. Don't worry, I gave him one for you. That'll be Burn and uh, Friedel that'll start us off here. So that whole trip that I just made there was worthless, entirely. Really? Yep. So got up to the bar, and said, hey, I left my card here last night. I'm an idiot. And she looked very confused. Nope, we don't have anything from you. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Well, I did. So promise. All right. Well, I'll ask the other person. The other person came about five minutes later. She's like, uh, yeah, I remember that. 
Nope, not. Nope. Don't have anything for that. Then finally, the person that was here last night uh, came in and was like, Oh, Jeremy has your card. <laughs> and you paid your tab. Oh, perfect. So you mean the person that I'm supposed to be doing commentary for, right, in a second? Uh, had my card the whole time. Exactly. So Good now job. I can even go up and ask him for it now because he's playing darts on the live stream. So, and yep. you're going to look like a jerk anyways because you left your tab open. Yep. <laughs> yep, sure did. Apologize this for guy. that. I thought it was a joke when he pulled that one on me last night when we were grabbing a bite to eat. Oh, man, I don't have my wallet. Yeah, <laughs> sure, Sean. No, I was <laughs> very freaked out right away. I was like, I know I don't, I know I don't have this. Big triple for burn. Off to the races in this one. Huge last dart as he just continues on with the races, putting Ernie's back against the wall. He is playing like my debit card is his debit card. <laughs> Desperate. <laughs> Desperate for that cash. Big first start. That's a huge round there. Here's Bill Vollmer. Bill's he's pretty talented. Yeah, he I is. didn't I didn't know he was this talented. Yeah, no, he's really good. Solid shot here. Well, Byrne can win this right here. Three bowls. Wow, that's right in the dead center. That'll do it. Jeremy Byrne takes it down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Defeats his friend Ernie on stream. Yeah, big. Jeremy, darts give me back there. my debit card. <laughs> We tried to hop on over there, had a little mishap, that's quite all right. But it looks like we're going to get our king seat for the non-pro as Eric, Bob Zine, Tim Eisner step up. Yep. So looking forward to this one. I'm going to go get my debit card back. Go back. grab your debit card. You can swipe it on my square. We'll call it even, all righty. Well, don't go anywhere, folks, as Brandon gives us a little dance moves there. Some unorthodox white guy moves, let's be honest. But that's quite all right. I tend to do those myself. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with this uh, non-pro uh, final here in just a moment's time. Don't go anywhere, folks. William Stewart here, Sean Green as well joining me. Appreciate you tuning in to our coverage here on USA Darts. Can't thank you enough for joining us. we got some exciting things we're working on in the background, folks. I cannot deny that. You will not want to miss out on this. Hit that like, hit that follow if you have not, subscribe to our YouTube, hit that notification bell. That way you can find out what's coming your way next from us. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Tom, aka the senior citizen. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Colton, you you better pay me, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Tom. He, he he said you gotta do this for me. I said all right. I'm dropping in for kicks and giggles. Looks like our sign did get moved, my man. Did you see that? Oh yeah, Larry did that a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Tim. There goes 18s, and 17s are going to stay wide open. Here comes Colton. Remind me tomorrow when Larry's doing some practice throws to creep that sign up on him. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm digging Colton's shirt here. Yeah, the Cookie it's Monster. Wonderful. Amazing. All right, Eric, stepping up. See what he can do here. That'll work. Sixteens. How about fifteens? More of the usual. Yep. Yeah. And here come <laughs> here comes SC. You see baggage just yeah. coming in there. <laughs> Will do, I guess. SC throws in a four mark. You don't get it? I got it. I was uh -huh. like, wait, what are you saying? Oh, that is him. Not the round he wanted. Matt Gunn saying his nickname is Cookie. Well, here he comes. Hey. See what Colton can do. Real quick while we're at it, big shout out to all you people in Glenwood City there at the bar. Yeah, apparently they got us on the big screen in the in the bar over in Glenwood City next to St. Paul. So appreciate you folks, or I guess I should say you, Claire. Appreciate you folks uh, tuning in and enjoying our coverage here. Big darts there from Eric, and here comes SC. Just uh, throwing the darts around the board there. Get a little practice in for the next round. Looks like league number one is going to go to Tim and Eric. Unless Tim doesn't want to yet. He didn't want to yet. He said, Eric, you got to be the hero, bud. I love father-son playing together. You know? It is great, isn't it? There it is. You hear that? 4.20. What? That's called for food. Uh, better go stuff your face if you want some. I'm going to have regrets if I don't. I but know. Me too. That's what I'm thinking about. But I don't have any cash. <laughs> that means you got to go. <laughs> I will be right here, baby. Big start there for Colton. Needed it as we're in leg number two. One nothing lead here for Tim and Eric. Tim Eisner. Wow. Trip three, trip three, single 19. All right. See what Tom can do. Big darts there. Bare minimum. Closes it out. Eric's been throwing phenomenally. He's been throwing lights out. He's going to continue to do the same. Nice five mark. Colton wearing the Darter's Choice of Shoe. Hey, dudes. So, I like him already. 
There goes the 18s. Power of the hay, dudes. Boom goes the dynamite there for Colton. I just call it how I see it. Tim's going to try and hit a ton of 15s. Not enough. Yeah, Tom. Just needing... Three fifteens, there it is, right there. Well, he pointed on the seventeens, that'll work. Jake Worthy Worthy saying, uh, we are having a dart viewership at our house in support of those players from the fair state of North South Dakota and all those shooting today on the on the eighty five inch today. Well shout out to Jacob. And everybody uh at his place in South South Dakota. Yeah, we appreciate you tuning tuning in. Lots of viewership today. Looking forward to seeing how tomorrow goes. All right, here's Colton. Not going to get it closed. So Tim chance to get the point lead here on the bowl. If he does get the point lead, he might want to take a stab at one of the numbers. He did, too, and closes the 19s. Big dart. You know why I say that, right? How many houses he got left? Three now. Exactly. Yeah, which is three darts. So if somehow they don't get the point lead here, which Dad's going for the close first. That is a bold move, Cotton. And oh. why'd he go 17s and not th Oh, my gosh, this is winning darts here for Eric. Eric. Um, well. Is very capable of taking this out. This would be ridiculous. Not going to do it. And a deep sigh of relief there from Colton and Dad. But Colton still has to hit two marks with the 17s and 16s open. There it is. Let's go to a last leg decider, and there's his diddle. <laughs> That's what he just said. <laughs> yes. So here we go. Eric. Oh, boy. That's why we can have nice things, Will. Here is Colton. Yep, there you go. Colton and Tom will go first. Here comes Colton. Hitting nine mark in the last leg. It might be blocked a little bit for him because it looks like the second one is pushing the first one up. He's going to move over. And he hits the trip. Big third dart. Janesville, Wisconsin. Fast Eddie's. Tim Eisner. Only a one mark. And Colton yelling at Dad saying, come on now, let's go. See what Tom does. Gets the close on the 19s. Does its job. <laughs> yeah, we'll just scatter out of there, huh? Eric scooting over a little bit to try and get more points on the 18s. Only a 5 mark. But back in this... One off round from Colton or Dad could make the difference right this second. Colton just readjusts his equipment. I think the barrel was loose. Uh-oh. Big close on dart three. And a heck of a decision there. 
There's Tim. There's Tim. Tim Eisner. Boom goes the dynamite. What a time for a nine. And now Tom's going to have to look up at the 20s. Big first dart from Tom. Big second dart. He's looking down at the 17th. Boom goes the dynamite right back. Nine followed by a nine. And Dad gives a roar. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is the non-pro king seat, by the way, guys. Seven mark. All right. Colton. Oh, Colton. Oh, Colton does not get the point lead, so... Tim's got a point dart one, maybe? And then he might look. Nope, he's taking the shot now. 20s or 16s. He goes back to 16s, doesn't hit it. So, Tom, a chance to to keep up the momentum. There's the point lead. Looking down the 16s. Staying there. He is staying there and does not get it closed. Oh, boy. Eric has been big in these situations. All weekend long so far. That first start was a little snatchy. Ties up the points. And he's looking up, I think. Nope, he goes to 15. He's trying to open up that wedge. All right, Colton. There goes the close. I think you look 15s here. Stay there at the trip. Doesn't do so. Tim. A six mark. Changes this whole game. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. And Tom is going to step up. Come on, Dad. There's a close and the points. I think Eric just looks at the bowl here. Closes the 15s and tried to close the 20s. I like the move, actually. It would have made it a 3-3 ball game. Let's see if Colton points or if he goes to the bull. I point now. Oh, he might have just given away this game. He might have just given away this game. Leg number three here. Last leg decider. Double bull here gives winning darts. Oh, he does not do it, so. Tom's going to be able to step up here. One bowl needed for Dad to win the match. And he gets it done. Big darts there from Tom. Tom had the heck of a matching nine mark halfway through the leg, and it killed it. That was awesome. Big darts as here comes William Stewart. And I'll be right back.
Right, we haven't got a notification about what's coming up our way next, but I'm sure we'll have something coming our way sooner rather than later. So hang tight right here. We'll do some interviews with uh, Danny Baggish, Kevin Luke, and Paula Murphy. We'll be cutting some interviews as well as we got more to add for tomorrow's show. But hang tight. We'll be right back with more in just a moment's time. Appreciate you joining us for our coverage of the Booyah Cup and Dark Horse Classic. We'll be right back. All righty, here we are with Paula Murphy ahead of the Booyah Cup. Paula, what do you think of the event? Uh, you excited to play in it? Yeah, I am actually. Um, it's going to be a lot of lot of talent there, so I got to step up my game. <laughs> this is the first ever women's Booyah Cup, yeah. so there's a talented field. You got Liz Tyne and you, Chrissy Grimmel, uh, as well as numerous others. I mean, you could go to anybody, honestly. Uh, yep, exactly. she is awesome. Yeah. What what do, what do you think of the field? Um, are you doing anything in preparation? I know you've been making your rounds on the steel tip side of things. Do you dabble in soft often, or is it just going to be a dramatic switch to, for you? No, well, we do have a lot of uh, uh, soft tip luck of the draws at home, but I've got my board, and I'm going to be throwing soft tip because I've been throwing steel for the last uh, three, four weeks. Yeah. So now i got to switch. That's a big difference. <laughs> you know, further away, lighter dart. So, yeah. It definitely can be, but uh, we know... You, you're, you're a lady that's a, that's a savvy veteran. I'm, I'm sure you can overcome that uh, soft tip side and, and play pretty well. We look forward to seeing how you do there. Any final thoughts? Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, there you go. There's from Paula Murphy ahead of the Booyah Cup. Good luck to you, Paula. Thanks. I need it. <laughs> Here with Danny Baggish ahead of the 2023 Booyah Cup. Danny, you excited for this event? Oh, man, real excited. Sad I missed last year, but uh, this year's going to be a special one. The field is, is pretty packed full. Last year's was, was pretty full, but this year I think it's just a little bit better field. Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, anytime you're at the gamble, it's always going to be a better field, ain't it? <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, going to be real tough. I think so. I think the format uh, calls for a, a long day of action. Uh, it's nice that they moved it up. Uh, well, moved it, sorry, to Sunday earlier in the day so that, that the people can come enjoy the action if they if they want. Are you looking forward to seeing maybe a little crowd there? Yeah, obviously I always love a crowd, but uh, I think that's a good move. Uh, playing during the day, obviously, for, for the players not to be tired late at night and so forth, I think overall it's a good, good, move, uh, good move on their part. I think I think it's well for us on the production side because it allows us to to kind of do a little uh, pregame show and whatnot as well. So I uh, understand, you know, there's a couple heavy hitters as well. Leonard Gates, Dustin Holt, Mike Maloney being one. Uh, what do you think of those guys? How have they been playing lately? Um, yeah, obviously Gates is uh, you can never bet against him. He's uh, always going to be one of the top players, if not the top player in, in North America in darts. Um, Dustin Holt has shown his consistency. He's always at the top level as well. And uh, Mike, Mike Malone is kind of a wild card. Uh, uh, I don't know if a lot of people have Facebook and watch him and so forth, but he's, he's playing real well. He's, he's, he is arguably one of the favorites. Um, it's all online. You know what I mean? It's all online, and, and, and I love Mike. Uh, we're good friends, but until you do it in person and, and have the intimidation factor and so forth and, you know, the nerves kick in, you're still an underdog. <laughs> so a little shade being thrown Mike Maloney's way. I love it in preparation for the Booyah Cup. Looking forward to seeing how uh, you uh, do there. Any last thoughts? Yeah, I, I truly hope I draw Mike first round, uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll just go from there. Well, thanks for spending a moment with us, Danny Baggish. Looking forward to the Booyah Cup with you. All right, thanks, guys. Rattling. Here with Kevin Luke ahead of the Booyah Cup. Kevin, second year participant of the Booyah Cup. You excited? Yes, I am. And I will do 500% better than last time, because <laughs> last time was not a good time. 
Well, last time you, you unfortunately did go two and out, but I mean that's 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 how darts is. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're not. This year I think it's going to be a a good one for you. We'll see how it goes. Quite the field. What do you think of the field? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of talent in that room this time. There was a lot of talent last time, but this is going to be ten times harder, and it's going to be like the ESPN Invitational, but on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> You've, you you had a lot of individuals that are returning, but you also have some new faces, some some big names, Danny Baggish, Dustin Holt participating this year, just to name a few, and then not to mention your defending champion, Leonard Gates. Is there anything you're going to have to do to prepare yourself to get over the line this year? Um, just got to stay focused, game at a time, and don't let the bartender get to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. Good point. Good point. Well, Kevin, appreciate you taking a moment and ch uh, chatting at the, with us ahead of the Booyah Cup. Good luck to you. Thank we you. look forward to seeing how you do. All right. Thank you. All right.
Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. This here is going to be... Chad. I know this is Nate.
All righty. Ran up there to Albert at the front desk, chatting with him for a minute. Huh? Clean up. Clean up a table. Clean. Well, I did do that, too. That's we like, saw, we that saw you background. jaunting around with the trash can. Well, I looked over and I saw all those, <laughs> those beer bottles. I said, all right, enough of this. <laughs> Let's get these off of here. Make some room. Clear, clear, Clean up the house here. Every once in a while, we're streamers as well as janitors. Streamers as well as cleaners. <laughs> All right, here is... You just totally forgot, didn't you? No, I'm trying to read a shirt. <laughs> I'm Justin. trying to read a shirt. I think it's Justin. <laughs> Who do we got? We got Justin uh, and... Chad. Chad. All right. And this is Travis right here. And Travis is playing with Nate. It's leg number two, I believe. Whoop. Justin just did a flippity flip into his hand there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Well, next up, on the right board, board number two. Boom goes the dynamite. I figured I'd pause for you there. <laughs> I believe I heard Trisha Romero, Chrissy Grimmel, Liz Tyne, and Abby Spots. Yeah. Appetizing. Decent. Hello. Nate said, come on, Nate. Here's Chad. Maybe. Uh, Paul, okay, this is the third game. Thank you. Yeah, but said it's been going a little bit. I mean, it had to be a barn burner of a first first leg. But hey, that's quite all right. <laughs> we did have some some dinner snuck in there, so don't blame us for missing a big uh, a little bit. That was huge right there. So nine mark fall by a seven. Is that smooth or smooch? I hope it's smooth. <laughs> yeah, Justin. That was Justin. Yeah. That's... Smoothie. Yeah, yeah. It does say smooth on the back. It's just a little joke there. Couldn't help it. And based on who's commenting that, boom goes the Wisconsinite. <laughs> so that means this is Chad. Big last art. All right, here's Travis. Looking at the 17s, hitting the trip, looking at the 19s. Oh. His body and mind were not in line there. So he threw right in the middle. Let's see if he can continue on with what he's done recently. That's a very gutsy last dart, and it pays <laughs> off. Making those lucky stars that it did, too. There's Nate. Ooh. Nate went for the trip 19 on dart 2. This is a back and forth. Leg number 3. Here's the the beast known as Chrissy Grimmel walking up. Travis only gets a two mark.
Big triple there. He tried for it. Just into the neighboring four. Yeah, but he's been throwing so well. All right, here we go. Nate. Ooh, again. Took a chance on the 19 on the second dart. Doesn't hit it again. And now he is down in points still. We'll see if Chad... He's pointing first. Now he's looking at the 18s. Whoop. Oh, I'm surprised he paused and then went up that way. Looks like you got next match coming up. If you would just pay attention. Oh, I already, I just saw it. Yeah, it's Hensy and Hensy versus Yeast and Aldfinger. Okay. So that's going to be a good one. And that women's match is the third place match. So one of those teams is out. As Kasha Prisbull and Cat Middleton sit yeah. in that queen seat spot. Wow. Wonder if they're out there having a few practice throws. Looks, Looks like that's what's going on. Maybe you're getting ready to go. I think they're ready to go. But we're going to stay right here for right now. Yeah, just a second. We'll kick it on over. Shout out Ram Jr. won 301 singles at Oklahoma Throwdown. He double dipped. All right. Eric saying, is this the Midnight Dark Club stream? Uh, no, unfortunately it is not, if you're looking <laughs> for it. This is the USA Dart stream of Booyah Cup. Appreciate you being here nonetheless. Looks like they're just getting underway in that third place match. Yep. Nice six mark there. By Justin. Here's Nate. Oh, man. How about a nine mark there for Nate? It's not over with yet. Travis Bush, how you doing, sir? Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well there in Iowa. Man, I tell you what. I don't know how often you've been in Iowa, but up here in Wisconsin and Iowa, man, beautiful areas of the country. The more I travel around, the more I love it. Because so don't you live in like the flat? flat yeah, flat, flat, exactly. Flat. I live in the middle of Nothing flat middle. lands, and <laughs> you can see for literally five miles of nothing. <laughs> the only trees we have is for to block off the fields or like the, the row of trees literally little blocks of, uh, of fields and a little line of trees to say hey that's your line you're just painting me a beautiful picture buddy you're welcome <laughs> all right let's see what Nate can do here on the 15s he needs more than that that's not gonna do it he said wow that's following the nine mark he just had Chad a wide open chance here to close the 15s and go back to the 16s, and he does so. Good darts. Yeah, this looks in Chad's favor here. Let's head on over to board number two. This is our women's third place match. We'll go ahead and do oh. the exchange here. Well, this here is starting is to get gritty. Liz Tynan. And here is Chrissy Grimmel. Third place match. Winner of this moves on to play Kasha Prisbel and Cat Middleton. Big darts here from Chrissy. Ooh. Boom goes the dynamite. She just told you to stop. I heard that in the background. She did not just say that. Yeah, I know. 
but not, just she heard it in you, her head. Taking you back to NDA, but look how quick she bolted out of there. Yep, she gone. Nowhere to be found. Look, literally. Yep, she gone. She gone. <laughs> out of here. There she is. She's like, what happened? Hmm. Just giving you a little glimpse of that one. Ooh, that's a gutsy look at it. But now Liz can point a lot of 19s. She might be able to take over. That'd be a gutsy third dart if she throws the first two in the trip. Now she'll stay there. Get the point lead. Yeah, Jacob, we are too. See what happens, though. They both have to get past the first round opponents. Big dart there from Chrissy Grimmel. Is that we got uh, this fire brings back? Out, this brings out the best in both of these players, right? Oh, for certainly. I mean, 100%. She gone again. That'd be a beautiful switch over to the 15s and that wires. It's so crazy how quick she just vanishes and yep. nonchalantly forgets and just doesn't pay attention. Throws the the fist up there to give her a pump and walks away. Big dart there from Trisha Romero. Doing her job. Here's Liz Tyne. Fifteens. Things are getting a little interesting over on that uh over on that other board. I thought it was all in the hands of Chad and, and uh, is it Nate? Yeah, did they win? Actually, it's getting a little gritty. They're pointing up right now, but can't seem to find a bull. Uh-oh. We'll kind of hop on over for the match-winning darts, potentially. We don't want to forget them, but this is a third-place match. I believe that is... That's a loser side sixth-place match. Oh, well, they just... Well, actually, never mind. Big darts. Nate and Justin pulled it off. What? Yeah. So is that over? It is over. They must have pulled out some clutch. I didn't think they were going to win that one there. But they pulled it Man, out. Man, it's going to be heartbreaking for the chat. That is. Sorry to, sorry to say that. I was going to hop on over. But, man, they did what they needed to. I thought that was all in the hands of their opponents. But. There it is. Chris Grimmel wins in the first <laughs> leg, and look at that little yep. Look at that little uh, almost basketball s follow through there, where she just held it five nine for her and Trisha Romero. Abby Spot to lead us off. Looks like coming up next is Hinzy or the Hinzies and Yeast versus uh, Yeast and Aldfinger. There we go. Ugh. That was some verbal garbage thrown at you. Sorry, Aldfinger. All the things. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Tammy Hansen saying, great ladies match here. Yes, indeed. Tammy, I think, was part of that NDA team dart. Yep. Uh, national team, correct? Absolutely. One of two teams. Liz, only a three mark there. So let's see what Trish can do on the 20s. Only two of them herself. Here comes Abby. Gonna close out the 20s. 
Ooh, walked it. But walked it on in. Chris, he's just a person of habit. So he just keeps focus here. Oh. Not going to be happy with that. Yeah, a small slip. Leg number two. Look at that. Liz yeah. is going right at points. That's what I was thinking. I was like, hmm, going right at points there? I figured she'd at least try to go for another house, potentially. Yep. Trish is going to look at the 17s. Ugh. Unable to do much there. Sometimes off legs happen. All right, Chrissy's stepping up here. He's going to try and do some damage on the 17s. Again, they do get testy, but I feel like it's it's more of a fun testiness. Yeah, I think like it's an aggressive just competition that at the end of it, they are always like right away fine. I think they just know that that pulls out the best in them, and they just... Yep. It's it's kind of like Girl and Price. Girl and Price has a little roar. Big and darts there from Liz Tynan. He knows that brings out the best in him, so why not let go and throw some good darts? Oh. Good third dart there from Trisha. But Abby can have a chance to go right at him. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I was going to say. Is right. Oh, big third. Huge. Big fist pump there from Abby as well. Chrissy does throw her hand out there. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, she kind of like, a, what the heck was that dart? <laughs> like, why are you going 15? And a four mark there from Chrissy, but it looks like this one's in the hands of Liz and Abby. Although we have been fooled before. Yeah, we clearly have been, that being me. I'm just kidding. Was fooled before. Oh, no, you you already said it. You made it apparent, sir. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh. Trish, got to find something of value here. Down by a good chunk of points. That's a big dart there. That'll help, but no matter what, she's going to still be down. Giving Abby two darts of the 16 to go ahead and uh, take... <laughs> close them out. She's being uber-aggressive on uh, her wedges. And Chris, she is, she did like the arm thing again. Like, what the heck? I think she's, I'm teeing this up. She's wondering, are you, uh, are you testing me here? A little uneasiness. Yeah, I'm not Chris. getting it done. Yeah, that face was kind of funny. Wasn't yeah, it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's definitely a humorous one. They are underway on board one. Let me check again and see what that's for. Yeah, there's no place on that one, so let's take a gander at CompuSport here in a second. Yeah, 
is Abby and Liz take the leg. Sign on over to board number one for a moment. This is a uh, fourth place. This is a fourth place match. Yeah, okay. fourth place. There it is. Winner, winner. First leg for the Hensies for Han Solo. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I actually asked Tyler about that earlier. Um, you'll notice he does have uh, only one hand. He was born without uh, muscle tissue on the left side of his body. Um, so his hand was uh, was was born without muscle tissue. So the doctor um, made the choice to amputate it. So that's why he has only one hand. And I, he goes by hand solo, which is great. <laughs> so he, he kind of just embraces it, embraces it and oh, yeah. goes on. I mean, what can you do in that situation? So, He's a uh, fantastic dart player at the age of 19. He very much so is. Speaking of fantastic dart players, uh, how about Jake Adelfinger? Yeah, he's definitely earned his spot into uh, tomorrow's Booyah Cup with yet yesterday's performance, but uh, doing well here as well. And I remember it is Adelfinger. It is Adelfinger. I do remember Adelfinger, that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he gets the pleasure of playing Leonard Gates in the first round tomorrow. Does Jake. Unfortunate, but at the same time, you got to be in there to have a chance. And he's done that. The ladies are off and running on board two. We'll take a, another second here before we hop on over there. Here is Jake. Here is Tyler, 19 years old. And yes, he is extremely tall. <laughs> I mean, when your dad's Rick Kinsey, is Tyler bigger than? Is yes. Tyler taller? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. Just slightly. Big last start there from Nick East. Oh, oh my goodness! What? Take a gander at this real quick, Sean. Oh boy. Take a gander at this. Look at the two bulls. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. That's board number two here. I'll give you a big screen view of that one. Uh, just kind of surprising to see those two bulls there in the last Haven't we decider. Seen Chris do that before? I mean, yeah, maybe here and there, but it just seems like a weird move to make in a uh, last league decider, huh? I don't know. 18, there they go. Actually, let's go ahead and hop on over there. Back to the ladies. Whoop! Happy spot. This is leg number three, correct? Yes, it is. So, third place match. That's why I wanted to go ahead and hop on over here as things are getting interesting here where the Hensies have just won the single leg. Potentially could go to a last league decider there. So, remember, winner will advance to play Kasha Prisbol and Catherine Middleton in the finals. Well, there you go, Kara Hensie in the chat saying with Tyler's hand that what the doctor removed was only skin, like big skin tags, no bones. Wow. So there you go. And Tyler is six foot seven. And Rick is six foot five. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> I know when I talk to him, it's definitely a looking up encounter. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? <laughs> yep. And what a great kid. How's the air up there? Very, very, very nice kid. Yes, very respectable. And, uh, you know, I did want to mention kudos to him because he actually – him and Rick went to Music City this year. Yep. First steel tip event. Tyler made his way to the top 16 to play Larry yep. Butler. Yeah. 
unfortunately lost after that, but it was a nice moment afterwards with Larry chatting with him about his game. Abby Spot, they, they have the point lead, but just barely. And Trisha, a chance here on the 18s. Just that third yard's a bullseye. No, it's just him on the 18th. I was wondering if they're gonna go ahead and might as well pop that one. You know who was a big player that advocated the trip 20, trip 20, double bull move? Yep. You know who that was? No. Steve Brown. Okay. That guy can play some cricket. <laughs> you fancy look up Steve Brown, North North American, USA. Steve Brown, not the bomber overseas, but now currently works with the ADO. Chris Gremble. Huge. With a capital Y. Here is Abby Spot. Oh. You know she wanted to give it a go there. Yeah, this is definitely live. And Matt, this is not the finals. This is the third place match. All right, Liz is gonna have to look at the 15s. And not gonna get it done. Goes bull on dart number three, which is a little bit of a throwaway dart. And now, Chrissy Grimmel just two darts away from winning this match. That'll do it on that dart, trip 15. Big darts, and there it is. Huge darts, so Abby Spot, Liz Tynan will bid adieu. <laughs> wow, what a match. You can tell Abby is disappointed, but she still gives a big old hug. Oh, yeah. We'll head back on over to our uh, fourth place match here on the pro side. Uh, Matt, we don't know. It's just whatever they bring our way, buddy. Um, we, have, we haven't been in control of who comes our way, so we'll find out that information sooner rather than later, I hope. But I don't see a final not being played out on the stream. Yep. Um, I'd agree with that. They've been doing a pretty good job of mixing and matching all That's the participants. In. Let's do a little thumbs up action. I should holler at Rick. No, that's cheating. <laughs> you already get enough points as is. Boy, Calm don't down. Lie. <laughs> Even <flow. laughs> the beautiful, Big darts. sultry voice of Sean Green. Oh, yeah. We may be here all night, so. Let him put you to sleep tonight. Just <laughs> put it on next to you. Whatever. <laughs> Tyler Henze. No, he tried it. <laughs> oh, well, great. That worked great. That's what he just said. And uh, what leg is this? Number one? This is second leg. Okay, so, so we're going to go to the first to leg. Yep. Yep. We're going to go to the last leg decider right here. It'd be great if there's a scoreboard or something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally just messing with you. <laughs> kind of. Well, that's got a lot of open room to it. Well, that's a tie. Well, that's pretty good. But it kind of rolled around. Kind of opened up the... the window here for Rick. Just kidding. He wanted to kiss his other dart. So it looks like it's going to be Nick and Jake going first here in the last leg of the cider. Advantage to those gentlemen as Nick just turns around real quick. Make sure to give his partner some loving before we get underway here. 
Can't forget to do that. That's an important part. And ha you can't forget to do that either. Big seven mark to open up. Takes advantage. Of going first. And here is Big Smooth. That's a Big Easy. Sorry. The seven mark right there. And only a single right there from Jake. So here is Tyler. Man, it's so good. Looking up at the 20s. Oh, good look at it. But already. Taking a little bit of control. Good last start there. Up 48 points. Enzy's shooting a six right now. Five of his own. Well, this is just five marks galore. Yeah, it's just back and forth. Chive City. <laughs> Seven mark. He raised it up to. Did want to just give a little shout out to Dead Man Dart to see Tyler and uh, Rick rocking the hats as well as the uh, jersey. That's actually there. Oh, yeah. That's actually Rick and uh, Ken Rip's company. So, yep. big shout out to Dead Man. Look at the USA darts. Exactly. That's kind of a cool deal they do for us as well. Great darts there from Rick. This is leg number three. Big first dart there from Jake. That'll work. Tyler's got to look at the 19s first. Big dart. Not as happy as he wants to be, but that'll work. Seven for yeast. Excited to see how he does in tomorrow's cup. That's a huge seven mark there from Rick Henze. Yeah, Jacob Worthley saying, I uh, can't get over how Jake always looks at the screen before he throws. Yep. Looks like the finals of the ladies is coming up on the other streaming board. Tyler Henzi with big darts there. So here is Nick. Man, look at these averages, bud. 5.88 to a 5.0. I'm just sitting back and thrilled with this right here. This is a back and forth battle quickly approaching the 1000 mark here. Oh. That's a bit of an opening. Yeah, that really is. Tyler's going to Quickly try to shut those out, I think. Yep. One, two. 
Oh no. Okay. Bare minimum. there from Nick Yeast. Some guy would call it a boom thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lighting the sticks and setting off the dynamite. Rick Henty looking to do the same. Does the same. Boom goes the dynamite. Rick Henzy. Big easy. Well, Jake, your turn for a nine. Oh, I ruined it. Oh boy. Tyler? Do your thing, brother. Let's go ahead and close them out. No pressure at all. Over the 15s. Maybe points. You oh, the 15s. Classic. That was deadly right there. Yeah, so that first dart hit the top part of the double bull and then spun around on him. It always throws me off. I don't know about you. Yeah, it does. The little spin on the bull. Only two bulls there from Rick. What? Jay's got to find a, a plethora of bulls, and even that's going to feel like not enough. Second one's in there, I believe. Yeah, we did go ahead and notify and the third one is too. Jeremy of that, so they're going to go ahead and fix that one before Manana. tomorrow's cup. Yeah. We will have to be here a little bit early to get ready. Oh, for that'll the do show, it. So. Tyler yeah. leaves the dart in the dartboard like a boss. That is your fourth place match. So here we go. Kasha Prisbel, Cat Middleton, taking on Trisha Romero and Chrissy Grimmel. I think we are waiting on a couple practice throws potentially, but we'll let them do their thing, and we'll hop on in here in just a moment's time with some commentary for you folks. We appreciate you being here. Share this around. Our women's final is up next for doubles cricket. Will Stewart, Sean Green, we'll be right back.
Alrighty, everybody. It looks like uh, Larry Butler, Sestefano, the Hensies are underway on board. Number one. Yeah, there we go. I had a weird message pop up on my camera setting here, so sorry about that. Right yeah, on. board number one. We figure we'll go ahead and bring you this one. Our women are practicing up before they get underway, so we'll show off this third place match here before heading on over to our women's final. So we got 19-year-old and 20-year-old. The future of darts, folks. The future of North American darts could be right in front of our very eyes right now. That is uh, Stefano. He is looking down to the 19s and hits it. Big dart there on dart number three. And here is a big easy. Rick Henze. Yeah, it's great. Little carbohydrates. Here is Larry the Eagle Butler. Just a second. Kind of re grips there. I call him Larry Two Taps every once in a while because he always gives that two little, little, little taps, taps there before he gets underway. All right. Tyler had a big round last time. Trying to do the same thing. Pulled the first one down a little bit. Great second dart. You gonna look at the twenties? No, he throws it smart. Big six mark there from Seth Stefano. Looks like the ladies are just getting underway. We'll hop on over to that one. After this nine mark. Oh. Jinx. All right, here is Chrissy Grimmel. Big come on on dart number three. A big yell and Tasha just says, Alrighty. Yeah. Good shot. Casas searching Ooh. for that rhythm that she had in the previous Queen of the Hill match. Yeah, she shot phenomenal in that one. I love the MVG style there, sir. Thank you. Kudos to you on that one. Appreciate you. Although I need a little phenom, nom, a little bit more nom on that. How about three in a row for that man on the Premier League too? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's doing great things so far. I think the equipment's finally starting to fit his game again. And that's what it is. He's just kind of getting used to the new equipment and whatnot, but. It was just a matter of time before MVG found his way back into the winner's circle. Or Look at this. Chrissy's doing the bullseye thing again. Right. Look at Kasha just shaking her head like, what is this girl doing? It's a weird move, but it has paid off every time. Oh. Kasha only with a three. Points up the 20s. So, here comes Cat Middleton. See what Cat can do. Oh. Sestabano, Larry Butler take the first leg. 
before I could even really look over. It was a five seven five five seven five five zero five zero. So, well, that's wow. uh, about as close as it gets. I even have time to come on go over and look a couple times. I figured I was gonna get a couple looks at that before she it ended. Double eighteen there from Chrissy Grimmel. She's feeling it, man. You know, did Chrissy and Trisha end up winning? They did, right? But they almost got double dipped. Say that again. In 01, Chrissy and Trisha end up winning, but they almost got double dipped. Yes. So I think they're trying to double dip here. Trying to rewrite the ship. Yep. There's Cat Middleton. Yeah, Kasha gives her. Come on, baby, in the background. Oh, yeah. Do a little low slap hands. Yeah, some good interaction wow. between the teammates there. Yeah, Chrissy just doing Chrissy things here. Close out the 16s. So for just a single mark there. Yep. Oh, my dear Lord, buddy. Whoa. Oh my! Are off to the races here. Nine mark, seven mark. This is going into yeah. So if he does it in three darts, he throws a perfect twelve darter. Oh, no. he didn't get it. No, he went for the. Uh, he went for it, but just outside of the last dart. Oh. Nope. It looks like we're redirecting. Yep, he did get it after all, or misregister. So a 6.0 overall wow. for Hensy. And a 9 for Dad, right? Yep. No, uh, 7 for Dad. Okay. Yep. Still solid. They'll go to a last leg decider. This to win leg number one here for Chrissy Grimmel. Points first. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy is right. Third dart was round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> oh. Big double. Oh. And it did not misregister. That was a two. So here we go. Trisha Romero to win leg number one. So Wiry gets it on dart three, though, as we head on over to Seth. Stefano. Sorry, Stefano. Boom goes the dynamite for Seth Stefano. And here is Tyler Henze looking to do the same thing. Oh, seven mark. The kids are not playing around. No, they are not. That's 20-year-old Sestefano and 19-year-old Tyler Henze. As Larry Butler. Throws in a big round of his own. And now Dad. See what he can do. Okay, bare minimum. We'll take you back over to the women's match. Is that as a final? We'll go ahead and feature that one. Just kind of dabbling in so you guys can see. Yeah, we'll let's check out that match. This is last leg decider. Trisha and Chris need to win this match to take us to a double dip. So far, they are off to the races. Jacob Worthley, yes, she has done that exaggerated step through uh, with the third dart. Talking about Chris. Yes, yes. We talked about that with her at NDA last year. We said, have you always done that? 
And she goes, if I'm feeling it and I'm feeling good, I will do some funky stuff with my third dart. She's one to admit it. But if she's not, she's just going to go ahead and continue on. That was good to see Hansy, Rick Hansy helping Larry Butler out there. As it looks like there was a dart on the ground and he was able to point it out when they grabbed it real quick. Yeah, Kasha and Kath are on a one, two, five in this leg. That is looking more more likely in the double dip scenario. Well, I guess not quite yet. Paul, appreciate you, sir. Pleasure to meet you today. You are too kind. Cat, getting on the points. Yeah, I gotta find something. Just kind of struggling here is Kasha and Cat. Good close there from Chris. There go the 15s. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, just a little bit too little, too late. There for Kasha and Cat. And Trish Romero, three darts away from winning this and going to the double dip. There's one. There's two, but Cat, two bowls away from the point lead. See if she can produce anything, but it it's, looks like this is going to be in the hands of Chris Grimm. will just go oh. ahead and take the leg and force another set for a potential double dip. Oh boy, not yet. Not yet. Points. Oh my. But... Kosh has been really solid on bowls. Until I said that. Alright, here we go. Trisha Romero. To take us to a double dip. There it is. Real quick. We'll head back on over to board number one as Wow. This looks this is like over. Sestefano is gonna go ahead and win this one. A 6.46. And Larry had a 5.50. But look at Hensies. 5.0 and a 5.4. I mean, respectable averages. Yep. We would love to dabble more into that match. But like I said, priorities are going to be on that women's final. We will have the men's pro final, I think, coming up. Yeah, that, absolutely. So that's Danny Baggish, Leonard Gates. He's going to take on Sestefano and Larry Butler. Yep. Man, that age gap is kind of crazy on Seth and, and Larry, but, man, they're able to piece it together. And I'm digging seeing Larry give out the old couple fist pumps, the knuckles to Seth. We'll see how that one ends up here in just a moment's time. Back to the women's match as they're about to get underway here with our double dip set. Big roar from Catherine there. She wasn't happy with that dart. Hit, 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 here we go. Trisha Romero stepping up here. 
leg number one of the double dip. Only gets a four mark. Catherine down to the 19s. Big triple there. Looking for another. Oh. That had to be a ricochet off that barrel. Look at Chrissy getting in Catherine's face. Like, what the? What are you doing? <laughs> Having a little fun and a chuckle afterwards. I know that Chrissy gives off that real serious vibe, and it can be intimidating. Heck, she's got under our yep. butt a couple times, but you can see she just stomps away <laughs> there. <laughs> it's all she's love. feisty, and then she comes back and she's laughing again. Yep, it's all it's all love, really. She yep. she just she's a competitor. She that's what she is. That's Great five mark the there from Kasha. We are over 300 people watching along on Facebook. We will have the finals of the Pro Doubles Cricket coming up after this. This is the finals of the Ladies Cricket. You see Trisha Romero throwing a six mark. Here is Cat Middleton. Here is Cat Middleton, seven mark. <laughs> big first dart there from Chrissy Grimmel. Big second dart there from Chrissy Grimmel. Oh, six marks right on back. Oh, look at this, Kasha. Not quite the point lead, but still great darts. A 5.25 to a 5.0. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> what? Cat up next. Let's see if she can find a triple 18 and go for these 20s here does she take her chance at them not now she got to stay right there gets the point lead but just barely there he is one more yeah. time gates ready to play here <laughs> <laughs> i think he just realized he was on stream he definitely just realized and said no sir <laughs> that's supposed to be a private show for will only <laughs> All right, Kasha's going to have to look at the 17s. Just a bit outside on dart number three. 4.17 to 4.17. Great Bob Euchre reference in the heart of Euchre country. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Dynamite drop in Lonnie. Broadcast school's really paying off. <laughs> Fly ball. Caught. All right, Cat Middleton. Looking over at the 16 second dart. Really got out of control from her. And Chrissy Grimmel. This is leg number one, the women's final. Of the double dip. Yeah, this is that second set, so unfortunately for Kasha and Catherine, they kind of got the runaround on uh, the first set. Trisha and Chris kind of just came out and handled their business.
All right, here's Cat. Still big darts right there. Gets the point lead. Cressy has 20s and 17s to look at. Going 17s. Got to stay there, I believe. I was wrong. She went at the 16s on dart 3, but doesn't close them. Kasha looking up at the 20s. Hits the big dart. Big trip 20. And this has turned on its head. Here for Kasha and Kat. It really has. Oh, oh wow. My Trisha Romero. Goodness. What an answer. Kasha goes, that was rude. Look at these look at these uh, averages four oh three eight two. Uh oh. And that might do it for leg number one. See what Chrissy does right here. Pointing. Missing. And pointing. Fly ball caught. Crank it, Jerry. You're welcome. What? There's Major League, bro, when Vaughn comes out. Oh, yeah. Crank it, Jerry. That's a random reference, but it, it is, is a very <laughs> random quote of the movie. <laughs> 80 million other quotes would have been great there. Yeah, you're welcome. You have no marvels. <laughs> you have no marvels. And now I'll be having to watch Major League later. Thanks. Appreciate it. Cat's going to need, let's be honest, kind of a miracle. It's about 95% over. Yep. And that may be it. Yeah. As we're going to go to leg number two with, we believe, there it is. She dropped the dot. But leg number one goes to Chrissy Grimmel and Trisha Romero. They are one leg away from the title. Does look like Larry just made his way on over to board number one. So I think those guys are going to await this match. Taking overhead view here. Quite a few people watching, hanging out, chatting. Oh no, just a single mark. That's a mm. detrimental start if you're Catherine and Kasha. Really not what you wanted to do, especially when you've kind of had three on the spin laid your way. And only a close there on the 20s. Paul said, I have to have Jennifer watch Dodgeball for the Colt. For the cotton, cotton references. references. It's a bold move, Cotton. We're going to see if it pays off for him. <laughs> this is not the time to discuss a split, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh... 
Leonard Gates goes ahead and opens up with a uh, white horse over on board at number one. As I guess we'll switch on over there while those ladies are just having a chat mid-match. So, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, Seth Stefano. Oh, he's oh. riding a white horse. <laughs> How good would have that been? That would have been great. Get your popcorn ready, everybody. <laughs> Jacob, I was just kidding, man. <laughs> they probably weren't talking. They were probably just having a chat there. <laughs> uh, if that would happen, they would have dis discussed it before the match, I'm, I'm assuming. Yep. It looks like they're still having a chat there, so we'll just keep it right here for right now. <laughs> Don't blame the guys for starting up. Oh, Leonard was trying to remain perfect. Oh. This is... Here. I don't even want to take it off there. The ladies are just kind of getting back under underway, but a slow start here, so let's we'll keep it right wow. here. Big third dart there from Danny Baggish. takes a second glance at the scoreboard behind him. We do have a couple TVs there with the scoreboard for people in the audience that want to view. And there's leg number one. I'll head back on over to the ladies board. Reminder, one and nil score line in favor of Trisha and Chrissy. This is the double dip set, so just needing this leg right here and they will be crowned champions. And we'll have one both, oh, or both female doubles events today. Kasha really likes those 18s. Really loves those 18s. Her, by the way. Difficult darts there. Just taking a gander over at the men's match. Bag is going to go ahead and close the 20s, it looks like. Somebody is. Shake, 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 <laughs> shake, 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 shake the cameras, <laughs> shake the cameras, here's Kasha, gonna look at the 18s maybe, maybe look down at the 17s, looking down at the 17s, look how popular you are. Want to go ahead and switch it on over here real quick, it's Larry Butler, Sestafano. Looks like they're running out of time. They are running out of time, as it looks like Danny and Larry are in great position to go ahead and win this event. What about Danny, Danny and Leonard? Danny and <laughs> Leonard, my apologies. <laughs> Larry, Larry can't switch teams now. <laughs> Larry can't switch teams now. My apologies. That is unfair. That is unfair. Big darts. Huge. Boom goes the Floridian for Danny Baggish. That's right. Is it rather Guamanian? What? I don't know. He lives in Winter Haven. <laughs> he does now. He does now. So you're going to go ahead and switch this around, but Gates needing just the three bulls when he returns. No matter what. 
So there we, we go, go for the title. Yeah, for the title indeed. They got double dipped in 01. It's not going to happen this time. Oh, it's it in. misregistered. It's in. Or don't lie. That is the match. But Larry's just taking a second and then throws it out. He <laughs> said, nope, doesn't count. <laughs> Classic Larry I love it. there. Quality oh. stuff. Congrats to Danny and uh, Leonard. Yep. They are crowned champions. Head back on them for ladies. This is that way too, way too quickly. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really quick. But, hey. I guess we'll just cut it as the women's final, and they'll get a spl splash of both. A little split splash, you were taking a bath. Here is Chris Grimmel. Solid. Thank you. Big third dart there for Chrissy Grimmel. Gives a little clap and a come on. Let's see what Koch decides to do. 18s first, now 19s. Stay up there, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Calm down there, Mike. Tom and, and Colton. Just making sure. It looks like we will get our non-pro yep. finals next as the third place match is happening off stream. But we're all in and at pretty much almost the same time here. That's great stuff for uh, this doubles cricket. Grant just a touch behind, but that's going to happen with more players involved. What time is it? It is 8.30. 830. 830 local. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> they started mixed trips an hour ago. Yep, an hour, hour and a half. Thir 7 o'clock is when they started. <sighs> yeah. Well, we're done after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but not really. <laughs> we probably will show a, a decent amount of triples, but... Uh, Decent's a weird word. <laughs> decent is a weird word. <laughs> We'll show, little, we'll show some triples. Um, we will probably prepare for tomorrow's Booyah Cup a little bit, and uh, we do have some couple things we got to switch around for tomorrow to get ready for the pregame show. But we're gotta eat. a long day of coverage tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, we are. A long fun day. A Sunday fun day, if you will. Yep. Well, Catherine, they're finally producing some quality darts here. I finally just kidding right. uh, here we go Trish does have winning darts in her hand but this is Chris Chris does too not gonna hit it there all right Kasha to take it to a last leg decider very last leg decider in the women's final as well love every bit of it come on Kasha give us give us the goods there we go love it Let's go. A 3.13 to a 3.13 that leg. Oh, shoot. What? Paul made a good deal. Time change this weekend. Tonight. <laughs> we lose an no! hour. No. <laughs> we lose an hour. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. That means trips isn't ending till three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Not two. Oh, I still love how barely. Here we go, Chrissy Grimmel. Gonna find a triple with the last. Does so. Big third dart.
Here is Kate Middleton. Kate Cat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> oh. I'm going to tell her she's going to be so upset. I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> not that deep, bro. Gather's a sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry, Cat. I, I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> All right, here's Trisha. Big dart there. Because. Go ahead and close them out. Kasha's got to find a number and stick to it here. It's going to be her 18s. <sighs> Only four of them. She's been really hammering that number. She really has. I figured if she could produce six there, she could take a look if she wanted to at the 20s. I figured she may stay there. Hmm. Uh-oh. Cat Middleton. Now's the time. Big second dart gonna stay up there. Adds to the point lead, 50 points. Damn. And here is Trisha Romero. Gonna look at the 20s. Needs at least a trip to move. Not gonna get that there, so gonna have to stay. Uh oh. Getting feisty here. This is back and forth, back and forth. Here it Nail comes biting. Kasha. Nail biting. Pressure, pressure. She's going for it. Now you gotta go back to points. She stayed there. I don't like that move at all, Kasha. She said, oh, gosh, I wanted to close that so bad. She let her heart lead the way and not her brain there. I think all 600 of our viewers wanted you to close it right then and there, Kasha. And, uh, gonna get away with it. Yep. Chrissy let her right off the hook there. I think Middleton will take a look if she hits a triple. She's going to go for it. Oh, I think she went for it with that second. Went back with the last. That is a smart decision on the last dart to s just go back on over, especially with the likes of Trisha and Chrissy. Yep. It's nothing for them to reply with a seven or a nine mark. And... Trisha not doing a whole lot there. So advantage, Kasha and Cat. Uh-oh. She looks to the skies in oh, disgust. Oh, no. Oh. 0 for 6. That is never what you want to do in a final. <laughs> I think I just heard something weird there. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but... It'll produce a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a big dart. Now Grimma will take a look, I gander. She is right here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cat. Eighteens. There it is. She looking? Nope, staying right there. Good darts. Back up to a 50-point lead. Been there. I've done that. Trisha Romero. Yeah, Trisha threw that with Cat sitting dang near in front of her. Still She's walking back. I guess when you're just in rhythm, you're in rhythm. Uh-oh, I think we lost a flight here. There we go. Oh, a dart. A whole dot. It. All right, here is Kasha. Got the one, the ten point lead. See if she stays there. She does. Yeah, it's smart. Oh Last, boy, oh boy. Only 46 ahead here. You gotta believe Grimmels, if she even sniffs a triple, she's gonna go for these 18s and close them out. The eye of the tiger here. That fierce look. There it is. She's going for it. I think she's going for it. No, she stays there. I honestly thought, man, she's 
she's the kind of type that you'd think just would take that gutsy move, right? Yeah. Yep. The aggressive play. She's walking all the way back to the bar right now. Literally, she is touching the bar, Sean. Not she is that far. She is all the way back there. No, buddy. she's not. She's right there. She is right behind. Him. Now she <laughs> is. She walked back. Uh -huh. Yeah, she sprinted back over here <laughs> that time. Okay, buddy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> I could just see her the whole time, right there. <laughs> it was like, no. it was like she barely, she barely went halfway to well, the bar. Well, from this view, it looked a lot further, I guess. Okay, <laughs> whatever. All right, couldn't Kasha. Let oh, couldn't let the suspense build. Fifty-two point advantage for Kasha and Cat. Jacob saying the nerves are building. The nerves are there, indeed, sir. This is chippy. This could be the moment. This could be the moment. It is pretty neat. Look at these. Seven mark. And we got some come ons coming on. Look at the folks watching this one in the background here. Love to see that. I love the addition of some chairs in the background here. Perfect. Sorry, I almost said, oh my gosh, she is touching the other wall. <laughs> she is touching board number one all the way at the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Oh. Trish adds to the point lead. Yeah, 130, Here you can tell Kasha. Kasha. Yeah, she looked right down at that score line and said, okay, is that how we're really going to run this now? Well, that's why it is. Hit six of them. We're hearing some yelling now in the background. Oh, yeah. There's Allison of the Darts Coalition back there talking with Kasha. She was one of the organizers of the Father's Day Frenzy. How about that double from Chrissy Grimmel there? To close out the 18s. Cat needs six 17s at least here. Well, you can just hear it there. Yeah. And if you couldn't, she goes, Arr! She did that and then she yelled a. An exploitive deleted. Yes, afterwards too, so. Definitely could be a, a turning moment here in this match. Our last leg decider of the double dip. This is it. Yes, it is. Kasha only a two mark on the 15s, and this thing is heading towards a conclusion that favors Chrissy. And Trisha. Big last dart. It's the single 15. All right, cat. Now or never. Got to find a lot of them. Oh. Outside. Trisha just needs... Two single 15s to close. And the back is up against the wall if you're Cat and Kasha. Well, as Will's hero Justin Bieber likes to say, never say never. But I think you might be able to say this one's about over. Fortunately, sh so if you're Kasha and Cat. So, Chrissy, just needing the. Two bulls here. There it is. Dart one. And uh, that'll do it. Some feistiness there. That will win it. The double dip complete. Well, I thought we had a... Yeah, we did have a little replay there. 
There we go. Just caught and a last little, bit of a, <laughs> a little chuck on dart yeah, three. A little there chuck too. on dart three. Yeah. But hey, your champions, <laughs> Trisha Romero, Chrissy Grimmel. Chrissy Grimmel. Congrats to them. Kasha Prisbull and Cat Middleton will come in second, and we still have a final to come, folks. Uh, Non-pro cricket next so don't go anywhere share this around let your friends know we're still going here in wisconsin for the booyah cup and dark horse classic we appreciate all you folks at home who've been joining us and our viewership has been fantastic 500 plus dang near all day long great stuff we thank you very much it means a lot so don't go anywhere more action coming next here on usa darts hey -o.
All right, guys, welcome back to the non-pro doubles cricket finals here at the Dark Horse Classic Booyah Cup Finale. Sean Green, Will Stewart, USA Darts Productions. We are live in Sturdivant, Wisconsin. Yeah, you can really see Colton chatting to himself there before he stepped up to the line here. Yeah, Colton Virgie is playing with his father, Tom. And here is Brandon. Yeah, young Brandon Parker. I mean, I think so far we have Seth, 20, yep. Kenzie, 19, right? Yep. Brandon, I believe, is 19 as well. I believe 19. I could be mistaken there by a year or two. We might as well get a little zoomed in angle as all these guys are kind of at the same say. spot on the hockey. Why not? Hopefully we can give this to you tomorrow as well. And Gary Bloom with a great round. Skittles. Throws in a seven mark. And we'll see what Colton can do. Just chatting with uh, Albert up at the control desk asking about some mixed triples. We will go ahead and stream till about 10 o'clock tonight. So we may get a triples match or two on over here, but we're going to prepare for tomorrow's uh, Booyah Cup. We still have some stuff we need to do to change around for tomorrow's cup, as well as some cute computer info so uh, and some interviews we need to cut as yep. well. So we'll do that for probably about an hour before we head off to the hotel for some rest for a big day tomorrow. Exciting stuff, man. It's going to be a great day. As here is Dad, a.k.a. Tom, a.k.a. SC. <laughs> so Blue says, taste the rainbow. <laughs> I love it. There's a close looking up at the 20s. Gets himself a single. That'll work. Your current King C holders are Tom and Colton. Don't know if you said that or yep. not. I did not, so that's great knowledge to have. Colton talking himself up here before he shoots. Yeah, I was really surprised that first go round. He was really getting after it, kind of verbally insulted himself there, it seemed like. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do, Junior. I think he's overthinking it, though. He was also wearing a hat earlier. Now he's not. That's he still got on the hay dude, so he's still probably in fine shape. One of those things we see often is the the hat on, hat off. Some people just can't decide. The forwards, backwards hat I've seen before. Pretty sure Brandon just asked himself, why did he suck? <laughs> Don't have an answer for that. None at all. And Dad unable to save the day either. Gary's the only one sh shooting half decent right this second. Yeah, I mean, you can, there's no denying that one. He's throwing well. Everybody else is kind of having a rough go. Yeah, so far. They would all agree with it. Yeah, I don't think they were speaking anything they don't already know. But that can turn around here. Just got to relax and throw your darts. Just listen to your shirt. Just hit it. Going just can't help but have a chuckle there. All right, Brandon. Took me out of the blind draw last night. <laughs> What a terrible young man. Yeah, I know. Doesn't respect his elders at all. <laughs> you know, but that's that, that can be said about all these youngsters that we're seeing involved in the game nowadays. Your Joey Lanaz, your Caden Andersons, your uh, just They're all just great those kids. individuals. Yeah, PJ Stewart. Yeah. They 
they're great kids, but they don't give a dang who you are, what your name is. They're coming for you. Yep. They don't feel pressure, it seems. Well, Skittle's throwing great right now. And we will see what Colton can do. Yeah, he's frustrated right now. You can tell that the service doesn't feel good. I think maybe that maybe that he found it right there. I think <laughs> Colton may be experiencing, and I could be wrong here, but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say he could be experiencing a little momentum high, getting that king seat with his dad, feeling that there's a lot of pressure well, to win this now. And leg number one is down. Yeah, you can see there. You gotta just relax and and know yep. you're you, you you've been playing good darts tonight. Keep it up. Yep. Don't be thinking about the small things. Truth, Karen. Truth brings. One nil advantage for Bloom and Parker. Oh, that'll work. This is around there. We come on back over to Gary. With that oh hole, as you say. Yeah, a little bit, but it, it works. works. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it works. It's how he just spins it out of his hand, and um, that movement he doesn't do until after the dart's gone. Yeah. So it doesn't actually affect really anything. And the only reason I had to say it is because he personally reached out and said, don't be attacking me. This well, <laughs> great. So glad you're attacking him. <laughs> had to do it one time. Let it be known, guys. Just do not tell us about your uh, fears. Well, your deepest, darkest fears, because we will share those right away. We did the same thing for Tom, unfortunately. You have good care less. <laughs> As here is Cookie. Oh no, Colton. Colton, Colton, Colton. He is really struggling here, isn't he? Oh, I was wondering why that thing was all cockeyed there for a minute. <laughs> oh, good darts there from Gary. Oh, Gary, Gary. I forgot the. Wasn't there a PDC tour event today? I have zero idea. Nice. Yep. I believe there was. I believe you're lying. All right, here is Colton. They are down one nothing. Colton and Dad are on the king seat though. This is the first dip. Yeah, uh-oh. He's just searching for an answer right now. He just... Oh, he's searching for a flight. I'd be crazy if that was his part problem the whole time. <laughs> Ooh. He's, he's, yeah, that was a real sporadic dart there. That little guy? Really? We're not going to worry about that little guy. <laughs> he gung-hoed that one towards the board is what it seemed. Got to just relax the throw here. Gary's throwing phenomenally. Phenomenal. Big darts from Gary Bloom. Bloom goes a flower. <laughs> or Bloom goes a Skittles. Oh. Actually, speaking of Gary Gary, Ross Smith beat Gary Anderson in the finals of Players Championship number five today. Well, there you go. I knew that was on today. <laughs> Told you about it. Big win there. Let's go do the double dip. 
we're going dipping. Yeah, we're going dipping. Go. Oh, Gary, Gary. Well, it doesn't take much for Colton and Tom to kind of right this ship here. They just need to literally just calm down, take a deep breath, know that they played well to get here. He's putting too much pressure on himself, I he feel. He just yelled at himself, but he is wearing his hat again. But it does not get he's, the diddle. He's just rushing it a little bit. Getting a little worked up. Just got to get out of his own head. There we go. And Gary finds the triple 20 to start us off. Big darts there from Gary Bloom. All right, Colton. Yeah. Here goes Colton. Seeing everything here kind of bundle up into one. Just takes a good a second and third. Yeah, but let's say it just takes a couple darts though to kind of ride the tide here. He's just blocking that confidence right from the get go, and he has he's not giving himself an opportunity. Yep. He can't have that mentality. I mean, darts is I'll say it almost seventy percent mental. I feel if not more. It's if you don't have the confidence to hit that shot, you're not gonna hit the shot. And unfortunately, it seems to be rubbing off on Tom a little bit. You know, who's really taking advantage of it is Gary and... Yeah, Gary and Brandon are jumping all over this one. Yeah, I think Gary's just throwing lights out right now. Big oh, double bull. That's a massive dart. Gary Bloom! That is a massive dart. Bloom goes to dynamite! Glad you pulled that one out again, sir. It's in my head. <laughs> I need to say it out loud. Yeah, Colton just falling apart here. Unfortunately, he can still pick it out. He's just got to do so now. It's the first leg of the double dip. So not over until it's over. Yeah, you can see Bloom and Parker are just 100% relaxed right now. They, well, as they should be, the momentum's yeah, completely with them. They don't feel any pressure at all. And Tom, unfortunately, only a couple 15s. It's never never fun when both partners are not throwing well. You know? Like, if one person can pick up the other person, that's always a win. Whoa! This is about where Colton's nine marks the 15s, just to do them. Right, just to finally, annoy them a little bit more. Finally feels that moment of relaxation. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. All right. Just need the bull for Parker. Whoops. Drops below. Said so you got to do it, Gary. Yep, and unfortunately just not able to find it right now. Are the Verties? There it is. Let's go to second leg. 5.81 for Gary Bloom. Or a 5.18. Yeah. 
<laughs> just just hop in a moment of <laughs> dyslexic disc there. Switch those around. Add them you know, up a different way. You Brandon know. only had a 3.33. Um, just Gary was just that much better than everybody else on the board that way. <laughs> yep. Colton. Yep, Colton just, I think he just found tightness in his in his throw at the wrong time, bud. And this may be a tough one for him to kind of brush off over the next week or so. But, you know, honestly, Colton, you just got to be quick to forget. Not throwing anything near what you're supposed to be throwing or what you were throwing. But that's quite all right. It kind of happens. It happens to the best of us. Let's see if Dad can wake him up a little bit. Dad throws in a seven mark here. It goes a long way. Nope. Yeah. That's quite all right, boys. You're still in the finals. Come on now. It's hard enough nope. to feel in a rut for him, honestly. Brandon closes the 19s. And Colton's up. There's still time, but it's got to be right now, bud. rough uh oh I think we're gonna have a visitor big six mark there from Gary Bloom Gary's been absolutely hands down MVP oh this there's match. No, yeah there's no doubt about it he's been playing well in this final and Brandon's been a great support but it's definitely been the Gary Bloom show speaking of great support great darts there from Brandon and uh, time has run out here We've seen a couple been a long day of darts it's been a long day of darts indeed but we're not done yet we got some triples here still for some oh, yeah. individuals Two divisions of action in that bad boy. And Gary Bloom, you might as well do it, buddy. For the title. And the double dip. Two scoops of ice cream with Skittles on top. And he blew the whole setup. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Tom. It's not over until it's over. Hey, three of them. Hey, they pointed. Parker looking to win this one. Oh. And a flight deflection there. Oh, oh, sweet child of mine. Come on, Colton. There we go. There's some good darts he's been searching for. There we go, Gary. Oh, well, there goes the Bulls, and there it is, Gary Bloom and Brandon Parker are your champions of the non-pro doubles cricket. Unfortunately, Colton and Pops ran out of steam there. Yeah, it, it's quite all right, though. I mean, overall, you got to think, second place finish for these two gentlemen. Congrats to them. That is no easy task here in this room. There's some good non-doubles teams. And they managed to get this far. He's going to feel defeated, yep. possibly yep. for a little while. But, yep. hey, buddy, still played well to get here. The Cookie Monster will come back for more down the road. We will find out. But 
Hang tight. We got more action coming your way here next on USA Darts. I think we will have some mixed triples coming your way. So hang tight. We'll be right back. I think someone's calling our name out there possibly. Hold on.
All right, guys, welcome back. Sean Green joined by Will Stewart. USA Darts Productions here for the Dark Horse Classic Booyah Cup <laughs> finale. Live here in Sturdivant, Sturdivant Wisconsin. That was a tough one. Big the darts year. there from. I think it's Asnal. Asnal. Is it Asnal? I think so. Mr. Saint for. This is Brian. Good third dart there from Brian. Miss Liz Tynan. Leonard's knocking, knocking, knocking on our wall door. Trying to hit the hat trick. Does so. And it is opening master out here in this pro level. Here's Miss Ginger. Ginger's a good shot as yes. well. She has her moments of greatness. She also has her moments of being a linebacker taking out boards. <laughs> Couldn't help but mention that one. Couldn't help but mention that one. Oh, boy. Well, be careful, because Danny likes yelling at people in closets. <laughs> that was the last situation with me. Probably why he's wearing headphones. He's like, I remember Sean in the closet. He yells in there. Leads 45. Leonard's team back on 300. I said Leonard's team. I meant Ginger's team. <laughs> we all know whose team it really is. Yeah. All right, 45 left. What are you doing? Just get some air. Oh my gosh. Hits it first dart. Big darts there. How about a 43.81 and 701 opening master out? Fantastic start for Danny, Liz, and Asnal. Admittedly, I don't think we know much about Asnal. Are you looking at the chat? You're not, are you? I am not. Me either. No. This is what's happening right now. You guys are wondering why we're not responding to you. It's just. <laughs> We just don't care, I guess. <laughs> now we now my up phone's charging. Brackets and whatnot, that's going to happen. Of course, when it starts coming to mixed triples, we start losing some viewers here and there as it gets on into the later part of the evening. Usually our mixed triples at the very beginning and the very end of the day, it seems. Big darts there from Liz Tynan. Whoopsie whoop. A little camera shake. A little shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your camera. Leonard looking to fill it up. Does so. Back to back hat tricks. Between Liz Tynan and then Leonard Gates. And here is Danny Baggish. This is a potential second round matchup tomorrow, the Booyah Cup finale. Leonard Gates versus Danny Baggish. Yeah, reminder you can check out all those brackets on CompuSport. Ooh. Come on and hang out with us tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time for our Booyah Cup pregame show. Whoop. Big darts there from Brian. And here is Arsenal. Has been shooting lights out. Someone is hanging on to the tripod. Is that Danny? It might be Leonard kicking the kicking the chair there. Yeah. I figured Danny Whoop. wouldn't be messing with me. Ginger at 320. Oh. Unfortunate not to wire into the bull there. As Liz, Dat, Danny, and Arsenal are up one nothing. Hat trick again from Liz Tynan. She has not missed a dart. Leonard has not as well. And a big hat trick, and he gives a little yeah. Him, Ginger, and 
Byron are trying to hang on here. Is it Byron or Brian? It's Byron. Have you been saying Brian this whole time? Nope. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you would be, because there's a couple people that said Brian in here, not Brian. Whoopsies! That was you. Well, here is Byron. Master out, so... Trip 18. He's taking a step back. Resets here. He's like, this is Master out, right? Yep. <laughs> Just making sure. And he oh. hits it. <laughs> Come on now. Byron Johnson able to capitalize and take that out, making this a 1-1 score line. Well, that'll work. I think Leonard got him by a hole. That right, was tied. He tried to make it seem like he got him by a hole. Whoop. Danny got it. <laughs> Byron uh, maybe threw a little you're a number one there gambler alright here we go Liz will start us off 701 last leg decider mixed triples boom goes the dynamite <laughs> great timing on that one Sean thank you beautiful thing about not having the chat up don't have to worry about mistakes Guys, hit that like button, hit that share button. Let us know who do you have in this one. It is rolling on. <laughs> Hi, Shane. What time is it? 9.30 right now. 9.36 to be exact. We may have a couple more matches coming your way this evening. Get ready for tomorrow's action. I know I'm geared up. I'm excited, man. It's it's gonna be great fun tomorrow. It, it really is. Look at this from Leonard Gates. Hat trick. A little one five zero. Just great darts. Big darts there. Here's Byron. The darts. Ginger, all eyes on the ground right now as she hopes to step up here and so lastly the cider bulls. Oh, uh oh. And Danny Baggett's chance to run right here right now. Big darts there. And Leonard can't leave an out. Yeah, he just claps there. Approved for the 150, but... To be fair, he could have left it out with the 180. Could have asked him 51. 
Tops. Tops. For the match. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Just a bit low. Yeah, but still gonna... They'll be back. Yeah, they're gonna be back, and they're gonna have an opportunity to take this out. Yeah, because trip 13 is all that's needed. Oh. Brutal second and third dart. Here we go. Liz tying in 39 left. Trip 13. Or she wins 7 for 32 and gets it done. Splits it. There it is. Yep. Liz, and it looks like at the exact same time the other board's finished up too. And Asnol win that leg. Congrats to them. Yeah, big darts there. Asnol shot fantastic. He really did. He surprised me. I was like, man, okay, this guy's for real. All right, hang tight. More action coming your way here in just a moment as we continue on with our coverage of mixed triples. We'll be right back.
Well, welcome back. Better late than never. So we got triples, mixed triples going on. Here is Miss Ginger. Yeah, apologies. That was all me. I was over there grabbing some information Hat for trick. tomorrow. And I got lost in the conversation. Hey, Miss Womble. There She's you playing go. in this one. Love that. She stands off far on that right hand side of the uh, line. A little lefty. Here is Soldier. Well, that'll work. It's a great second dart there. Big third. Oh, Kupniak. Kupniak. Oh, Kupniak. Here's Byron. Let's see what he's leaving here. Well, he left 69. Said good shot to himself. Here's BT. Looks like we're gonna get master out. 19 for bowl. The winners from last one: Baggish, Arsenal, and oh. Liz. On our other board next. Sure. I don't think I hurt that. Though you hurt. I think I did. Okay. All right. 120 left. Can still take it out. Trip 20, trip 15. Not going to do it this time. Three for double 16. Leg number one goes oh, to Leonard. Deal. start in that yes okay I just guess it's just gathering that information yep. after two matches here yep and a great low time to start she has a real smooth throw yeah miss Womble here is really talented and the first time I saw her was at Shark Tank uh, 2021 uh, yeah she's just talented she did uh, have a baby recently so kind of took a step back from darts in order to Take care of the little one. Now just kind of creeping her way back into the game. There you go. Nice to see her playing tonight with the kiddo. Watching Miss Rachel out there on the uh, floor. Nice little ton there. I don't know if your kiddo is a frequency of Miss Rachel yet. No. Our kiddo can't, can't live without her anymore. That's his morning show. Nope. Sounds like a nightmare. So... Gonna avoid that at all costs. Bad enough with when we gotta go with Moana. <laughs> Moana and Luca. Are right, the two ones on repeat? Hey, you were right about that, by the way. What about the other match? Yes. Thaddeus. Although it is kind of on ten. Be perfect timing. We can be nothing but men of our words. <laughs> now talk it out, now talk it out, now talk it out. All right, here's Miss Wobble. I 
Oh my goodness. Um, Thaddeo, look at your tuckus move, my man. Oh boy. I do not know about that, Thaddeus. Oh boy. He's wearing a hey dudes. Shoes of darters. Let him know. Byron's wearing hey dudes, so is Jake. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey dudes for the people. We're all rocking them. Mr. Task there. Yep. Tell you what. I believe it's his missus. It's a pretty good talented shot. I think she was at the Father's Day frenzy. Teaming up with Miss Tracy Olson. Connor Ol Olson's mom. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Again, just a reminder for you folks in the Wisconsin area, or maybe just outside of the Wisconsin area, Emmy's Wish going on next weekend. Yep. There in Jansville. Oh, big last start. Actually, 42. See what type of pressure Miss Ginger can put on that. Not going to be as much as you wanted. Not going to leave a finish. So, trip 14. For Mr. Joe Okupniak. And let's go to leg number three. Why not? See a little head nod from... Gates there. Well, is that tied? Tie ball game. Nope. It's like Joe got him by a hole. So here we go. Last leg decider. This is the loser side of the bracket. Told you all you need to know about how fantastic this tournament is. Great last start. Can't deny that one, buddy. This is impressive, the players that we have here this weekend. Here is Miss Ginger. All right. Oh, help me. Dad, you weren't here. <laughs> All right, here's Leonard. Look at that. That'll work. Patrick. Just to give you a look, uh, Asnel just missed uh, double ten, or sorry, double top to take the first leg. It does look like they will take that first leg, though, as Trish is now shooting at Got a leaving low a low ton for 114. Yep, double ten left. And hit by on the other board. And Byron not happy with the 81. Hey, let's play 436. Right back to the start. 
Just a little game of 436. Again, just beautiful darts. Smooth operator. I know what you're thinking. Yes, I have been called the songbird of my generation. That's exactly what it is, Sean. A mixture of Fergie and Jesus. Did you go up for the trip? Nope, he decided to live in bogey. That is because no matter what Leonard does here, he cannot leave a finish. Yeah, he might as well hit a hat trick. No big deal. NBD. As my good friend Will Stewart says. See what BT can do here. Hit the 19. Well, that'll work too. Uh, Thaddeus over there. Boy, is he something else, uh -huh. man. He's up there from the far north of Wisconsin. All right, this is for the match. Yeah. Miss Wapple. Byron upset with himself there. Uh oh. Nine for Bull. Oh, oh no. That is difficult darts thrown there from Miss Wamble. Well, it leaves the madhouse, too. Miss Ginger can take this out. She can. 95 needed. There's the bullseye. Trip 15. Oh, no. All right. We'll leave tops, but the madhouse here for the match. Okay, that's good first start. There it is, hits it, and they win. Yeah, kudos to. Wow. Task of Kupniak and Womble. They just took advance. out Leonard Gates. Isn't that crazy? Leonard will get an early exit to prepare for tomorrow, I guess. I was going to ask you, is that a good thing or a bad it thing? It could be a very much a good thing for Leonard to go ahead and get a snoozer before coming in tomorrow. Well, I've seen this 149 taken out before, right in front of my face. It's <laughs> awesome. It was kind of funny when Leonard said, hey, what time are you getting in tomorrow? Just because I was kind of working out yeah. pre-game show and stuff, and he goes, 2 o'clock? I said, what? I said, he said, yeah, 2 o'clock. I said, dude, the cup starts at 11. He goes, no. He said, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a gun. Unfortunately, Trisha leaves double 15, but Liz is going to go look at this 48. And this is for the match here. Is it? Yep. And 32. There it is. The last start of the night from Jerry Seinfeld and company. All right, finally works there. Yeah, good shots there from Baggish, Tynan, and we'll just say Asno because I forgot his last name. It's St. Fort. St. It, Fort? It's unbelievable. St. Fort. <laughs> it's unbelievable, Jerry. It's unbelievable. All righty. Well, hey, what a great, great, great night, too. Early yeah. to bed, early to rise for us guys. Well... That's probably about going to do it. I'm going to do a couple things in the background. We may see if we get one shuffle, but it'll just be just the uh, stream, nothing else. So I'm going to do a couple things in the background computer-wise for tomorrow's stream. Because better to do them now than tomorrow morning because we know how that one will go. 
for sure, but you should definitely do it back in the hotel room. <laughs> I wish we could. It requires good internet. <laughs> yeah, we can do that in the hotel room. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. We'll figure it out. We'll keep it right here for right now. And then uh, we'll head on down the road. Appreciate you folks being here. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, it's been a good one. Don't forget, tomorrow, 10 a.m. is the Booyah Cup pregame show. Well, actually, you got a little slide of that. Well, I guess not. What is that? Oh, my goodness. I guess not. We'll cut on over to, to that. I guess I need to redo that before tomorrow. So another thing to check on. Perfect. Add to the list. Add things to you can the do list. At the hotel room. There we go. So take me back, though. Take me back. Just take me back. Just take me back, and then you come back, and then you come back. No, I'm just kidding. Tomorrow is the Booyah Cup pregame show, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join us bright and early for our picks to win the cup, as well as numerous other things, including some interviews with Jeremy Byrne. Oh, yeah. And our defending champion, Leonard Gates. Really looking forward to that. But, hey. Good day of action here. More coming fun. your way tomorrow. Yep, guys, thank you so much again. Sean Green, Will Stewart, we will see you next time. He's been in some form, he just wouldn't be shocked to see this go again. Goal draw for a second nine down to Romano! Oh, How about that? Go win price! Two nine darters in one night in the Premier So you want to get into darts, but you're not sure how. We can definitely help with that. We're a to zdartscom and we've been a dart specialty store for over 30 years. We have the greatest variety of darts in the country. But don't worry, we can narrow down that selection for you. Whether you're a complete beginner or a full-on expert. We developed our own colonial brand to offer an inexpensive line of darts, dartboards, and accessories. So you can get into the game without breaking the bank. Join our amazing community by going to azdarts.com.